Today we're going to watch a video on how to do TV on Ubuntu with AMD's TV Wonder 600 USB. So the first thing we need to do is we need to search for the drivers because we'll need the firmware for this. And that can be easily found at linuxtv.org. And this site has everything you need to get TV up and running under Linux. So we'll just scroll down a bit. We'll get the link to the firmware. Copy that into the buffer. So we need a CD to live firmware. We'll get the firmware. And we'll drop it right into place with wget. And put in my password. Okay, firmware installation is done. That was extremely easy. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install our favorite TV software. There are many. Mythbuntu is very popular. Um, I'm going to use MeTV for this. So we'll run the installer. And this will take not too long to download. It's a short little script or program. Very small, compact. Does exactly what you need. And now the installation is done. So let's make this a little bit bigger for you. Now you see here that the AA TV Wonder device is not plugged into the USB port. And we'll want to use this D message because on the linuxtv.org blog they help you troubleshoot by showing you the D message output. So in this video we'll do that as well. I don't need this window anymore. Okay, let's take a look at this. So now we've got a plug in the uh, device and it's already in so we can verify that we have the two components installed and we'll compare this output with the output on uh, the Myth TV device here's our sample output there's the XC2028 and the EM2882 device you see it's initialized successfully and that lets you know that the kernel has stuffed the firmware in there and that the device driver can talk to it. So now we've got a scan for our channels. Probably my accent gives away that I'm not in Australia. This is going to scan all the way up to channel 68. We found some channels already. As you see, the list is increasing here. 19 channels, 21. Let's get the next screen set up. Once you get a channel scanned, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to watch TV. Almost there. Let's check out the extra channels that have come in. Scan is complete, so we'll add these channels in. So now 
you can see the channel list, we'll select OK. And the channel should show up. Well, there's one of the channels. I'll resize that for you. And I change the channel here. And we're done.